Yeah, I was going back to the Grand, right? I actually have to go to work. Ooh. Sheesh. Terrible. I wonder if I get to play the minigame here. I kind of hope not, because I'm sure it's much more complicated when there's more than three girls. Anyways. I've been playing a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. Uh, and boy, is that interesting. I like it much better than Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If I'm being honest, it's just significantly better. <laughs> um, but I don't know how long it is. I don't know how long the game actually is. But, like, it's weird. Like, it's making me think that I might actually want to keep playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Like, play all the quests and post-game and all that. Too much for me, my friend. Way too many characters and all that jazz. But, whatever. Oh! <laughs> eh! Anyways. Oh? Lee? I know a guy. Anyways. But, yeah. I'm liking the way Torna handles a lot better. It's wacky, but I, I like it more. So, I mean, e even that, I almost have half a mind to maybe even try out Xenoblade 3. Uh, but it's not like Xenoblade 1 and, and X were the same as Xenoblade 2, so I don't know about 3. We'll have to, we'll have to find out about that one. Another thing I've been looking at, I, so Chrono Trigger is on sale on Steam for like $8, right? But it's a port. So, I saw a review saying there was some wacky sh stuff going on with the port. I, I've never really had a problem with ports. Like, I even, as much as I guess I'd, okay. Uh, people aren't going to like me for this one. I had uh, 3D All-Stars, and I'm not the biggest fan of just Super Mario Sunshine in general. Um, maybe because the screen's smaller. Let's, let's go with that. That's my reasoning. Um, but... There were people saying that, like, the port for... The 3D All-Stars port of, of Sunshine is, is, like, full of bugs and stuff. Maybe not full of bugs so much as... Huh? Oh, is there someone being mugged over here? I'm gonna intervene, as I always do, because otherwise I'm not... I'm gonna spoil your whole damn day, actually. Me! Me for real! Honestly! Oh my gosh, I did a freaking... I'm really doing the Dijambe Flambe here. Whee! Boink. Boy, do I love doing that. Honestly, Breaker's really cool if guys just kind of sit around and take it. Oh, and it was a pretty lady! And she gave me a slightly battered silk cloth. Wow. Um, is that useful to me? No. Is anything, is anything that I get useful to me at all? Actually, do I have money I can spend on Breaker? As cool as it is, I don't know if there's much I can do. Ooh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, yeah, I need to remember to hold Y. And, oh, that's pretty interesting. That's certainly worth my money with how much I enjoy this fighting stance. I definitely don't. Completely refer entirely to it. Anyways, let's get some pocket tissues. Why not? But uh, yeah, I I it's been interesting how my taste in games seems to kind of ebb and flow a little bit. What? Oh, I just walk right past these guys. Whatever. Boink 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 boink. Wee ha. I gotta say, I'm starting to sound like numbers three and four. Okay, good. That, see, that was the epic attack right there. The epic windmill attack. Oh, nice! And I got a, uh... I can, never mind. I always make this joke, and I never should, so I'm just gonna not this time. <laughs> I got some points. I got some points. There we go. That's, that's how I can say it. Uh... Yeah, I love being canceled. Like that's ever gonna happen. 
I'd have to have notoriety. But anyways, I, I ebb and flow in and out of liking roguelikes more than RPGs and liking RPGs more than roguelikes. Like, I've been playing a lot of Enter the Gungeon, and that's all fun and good and all that jazz. I do enjoy it. Um, I do not, I guess, have enough time on it to be any good at it in the uh, actually avoiding bullets and using blanks and all that jazz. Oh, aren't you friendly now? Sheesh. Huh? What about it? Uh, what do you say? Uh, what? What the hell are you talking about, dude? I just went to work. You did her? No, I didn't. Oh, jeez. That's quite something. Oh. We know where Makoto is, the actual Makoto, right? Huh. Well, this is sure convenient for us, but... Huh. Was somebody eavesdropping? Ah! Well, how convenient. Somebody did our job for us. We don't have to do anything now. Wonderful. Well, anyways. Um, I was also... I think I talked before about how I play a lot of Dead Cells. But I, I'm really finicky with Dead Cells in that sometimes I'll just naturally end up with loadouts that I don't enjoy at all. And I don't know why I keep picking up items that I don't enjoy playing with, but I'll, I'll end up with just a, a combination that is not fun. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I gotta, I gotta actually work my way through some of the DLC. Because I got the DLC, and I considerably, normally, consistently get enough cells to just pretty much unlock at least one thing per run, but then I don't have anything to unlock, you know. So I'm going to have to actually get good at the game, I guess. Unfortunate. But, you know. There's like, what, 50 things added in the Castlevania DLC? So i got to actually go through that. Um, uh, whatever. That would please my employer, yes. But who the heck are you? Thanks, pal. But... Yeah. Um, Enter the Gungeon is weird. Uh, that's kind of all I have to say about it. It's a funny game. I like it. It's real funny. Um, oh? Well, uh, pleasure to sir. <coughs> <coughs> Oi! Hey, yo! That is enough, pal. Shush. This guy must be a real friggin' VIP. He's got like seven of the girls around him. What the heck's going on there? And that phone's not even attached to a bag. Sheesh. Oh, wow, that's actually the end of a... Well, I mean... I mean, I hate to end it here. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> What did I do, <laughs> exactly? Well, hold on. Is there something else happening now? I mean, I guess we can kind of look at the next chapter. But, uh, I really hate for this to just be a lore episode. We didn't really do much. We walked around. We beat up some guys. That's cool. I talked about roguelikes and uh, JRPGs. I think the thing with uh, the games I play, especially with Xenoblade, like, I don't, I played through Xenoblade, I don't perfectly enjoy it, but I'm enjoying Torna a lot more. So, hell, that's the same damn team, and Torna's just DLC for the game, so I'm, like, I guess picky enough with the, the, just the different things you can do in an RPG that, um,
even the relatively minute changes between Xenoblade 2 and Torn of the Golden Shrine Country, like, there, there are fundamental game changes, but they are relatively minute. And I, I like it so much better. <laughs> but, I mean, it might just be the time of year or something of that nature. Like, I ebb and flow in and out of playing Animal Crossing. And that's just... That's the kind of thing where... I won't find it enjoyable until I've already played it for like five days straight. Um, but it's also... Ah, there's some stuff I have to... I, I've been trying to fill out the Queerpedia. And I've, the problem with that is that I basically have nothing to do eight months out of the year. <laughs> so I've been waiting for either... April or August, or maybe September. I know September is when the salmon come out. Um, but there's some bugs, or maybe some of the some of the underwater creatures that I've gotta I've gotta go in and find, you know, while I actually am in the right month. That way I can get the golden stuff and definitely actually play the game more. Totally, no, it's not happening. But you know. I mean, I made the mistake of buying the digital version. It's not like I can get a refund on it, or a partial refund, or whatever the heck GameStop would give me, probably two cents and a <laughs> stick up my ass. Um, but that would be better than me just holding on to a game I don't play. I don't know. I, I'm kind of wacky with it where I... So, me and my brother went to... What the hell? What the heck's going on here? Oh, huh? Hey there, pals. What's going on here? Um, what was I saying? I yeehaw yeehaw. Dijambe Flambe. Boy, do I love doing that. Ow. Hey, that hurt my feelings, man. There we go. Um. I think I was kind of at the end of what I was saying, actually. <laughs> Another ba slightly battered silk cloth. What am I even going to do with these things? Tie them together and make a rope to do various possible things with? I wonder. Anyways, I, I think I'm just going to end it there. We did something interesting. On the next episode, it's going to start uh, pretty much the same way that this one did, where I'm going to go to the Grand, it sounds like. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to kick you over and over again. I'm going to dance on you. I'm going to bust a move and bust some jaws, you know? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Anyways. Let's, let's go to the Grand. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.